Right, good morning everyone, or good afternoon should I say now. Um, Jane Robinson's asked me to do um, a beach shack for her son. And because he loves surfing. And I thought, you know, that's a good challenge for me. Do you remember when I did the caravan, I enjoyed doing that. And I wanted to do another scene anyway. So I'm going to be doing a miniature for her. And I've fished out some bits and pieces which I'm going to be using like this will be for the shack's curtains because yes we're going to have a uh, I'm not sure how it will develop until I've done it <laughs> you know me we build it as we go along and then hopefully it comes together they generally do and I haven't done a miniature in a while and I think you might be sick of bookmarks I've just stabbed myself with a pin, look. I don't know if you... That hurt. <laughs> so, um, let me just see. Because I need this... Kind of like halfway. Now I'm going to be... I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We'll see. Um... That's going to be the back. That's going to be what you see, the front. Yeah. Right, OK. I'm going to have to get my glue gun on. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I'm going to have to work out what I'm going to do. Now, I've got that for the curtains anyway, so we've got the curtains. And I really do need to clean my desk off because it's chocker. And then I found this, which is the right kind of netting sort of thing. So I'm going to have to cut some of this to use for, you know, nets around the... I hope I've not got it on the shop. I did have it on the other one, but I hope I've not got it on now because it's too late. I'll have to go check. But yeah, just to make little, you know, nets. Because I'm not just going to have surfing. We're going to have... Um, like a beach scene with a surf shack, I think. And that way I can add beads to that, couldn't I? So I might do one a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, too too bad if I've uh, got this on the shop. <laughs> well, can't help it. I was looking, I usually have doilies in, you know, that's got that um, edge with the beads on. And I'll probably get some in. I've got some coming in today, folks. I've got a huge amount of doilies coming in today. So watch out for those. We'll keep those bits. And we'll do that. I might need a few more. I don't know yet. Because I'm going to do a real nice shack. Oh, look. Mess, mess. So I've got my list here. Let's see, beach shack I've got to build. I'm going to do the... I've done a rough sketch of what I want to do. Some, You know, I want I wanted it as um, uh, like a workshop inside. So this will be quite big. And then outside we'll have a, a beach scene with some surfboards and whatnot. So that's what I'm aiming for. I do want a couple of umbrellas which I'm going to make. And I'm going to do them from... Uh, clay, I think. We think. Beach balls. One. I need a beach boy. I mean, I need boys, you know, to hang on the shack. Um. How do you spell them? I can't remember how we spell though. Is it B O U Y? I know what I mean. So we need some... Let's have a look, see what else we need. We need a bird box, one or two, I'm not sure. Just little ones. Some rope, which I've got that. And boat and paddles. Just a little boat and paddle I'll make myself. Uh, some fishing net, like I say, times two. So I'll tick that one off. We've got that. Beach ball uh, flip-flops. I think I'll make those uh, out of clay as well surfboards at least 12 because i want some in the workshop where they're getting prepared so there'll be some plain wood uh raw wood some that'll you know 
uh, it'll have just been painted standing to dry I might not use 12 we'll see now the thing is Fee, what wood are you going to use? Because you haven't thought of that, have you? I'm not going to use wood. I'm going to use um, chipboard. Now, I'm not sure. They don't have to be perfect. And I've got some silicon that I can put on them. So these are probably... I'm going to have to cut it with the wrong scissors. No, and I don't want to do that because we don't do that fee, do we? Um, <laughs> they're going to have to stand... About half that, aren't they? We can make different length ones. So let's just have a look and see if this works. Um, I'm going to get a piece of card. As you do. Just let me see. It may work. It may not. We don't know. Right. I'm going to fold that in half, just, I don't even know what shape a board is, <laughs> oh well. So I think they go kind of roundish like that, don't they? And then they go kind of, like that, don't they? that a surfboard not quite I don't think that's too thick for a miniature that's more like it isn't it but I suppose you can have them any um, size and any width but they've got to look obviously like they are surfboards I think that'd be a nice surfboard, wouldn't it? So we need several like that. Okie dokie, Smokey. Oops, a daisy. Right, okay. Fasten these up a bit because I get slack. I only need one to start with and then I can go from there. And I know I've got a few people that love watching me create. Now, please remember, this is out of my head. <laughs> and doesn't always work. Now, I have my sanding block. So I have to paint some to look like wood. And just um and then I have to do them in different stages of being made into boards if you know what I mean. Okay, does that look like a surfboard, is it? For a miniature, it's not bad. We can say that, can't we? And then... I have to make so many of them. I'll make some a bit longer, I think, as well. For, you know, ch there's children's boards, isn't there, you can do... Yeah, I'll do so many different ones, I think. Right, I'm going to come back when I've got all of the boards ready to paint and to alter. I've got, let me just see, I've done some small ones, children's ones as well. Um, I'll finish them off and that and... Now that's alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got eleven up to now and I can do more. So... Let me just tick those off. So we've got uh, surfboards. We can cross that off. 
we, we need a surf sign which is fine um, I'm gonna cut let me just see where's my blade and my ruler the width of my ruler don't need that I can soon make one of them again cut that that's fine and I can make a border if I need one using the same chipboards I'll leave that available so that's for the sign Got that flip-flops right right there we go I've got some chipboard here I'm gonna I've left a couple of those in case I need them and I'm not saying it's going to be easy to make flip-flops but we're going to give it a go and we need two pairs I think yeah just two pairs and all I'm going to do is I draw a circle there for the heel I draw a bigger circle there for the foot and we just go on like that now just going to do a uh, like a, a flip-flop shoe and a flip-flop if you know what I mean a beach shoe okay that will do I think my scissors are a little bit too big for this but we'll do it That's more like a shoe that I need. It's only because I'm going to do a like a deck chair and then have the flip flops at the side of it. That's all. I need to make a left and a right, obviously. So, well, we've got one there. That's, I suppose I can use that and do another one. I know, and you're thinking, could you really be asked? <laughs> well, I like doing miniatures, as people know, if they know me. I don't like, I love doing miniatures so and I've been wanting to get myself into a challenge again and you just have to take your time these sort of things you don't rush ever and you build it as you go along I've in my head a plan kind of of what I want my beach scene to look like but that's it it's in my head and you can't get that out it's um i mean of course you can you can draw but i just like to work from what's in my head i've got a little sketch that'll do me it's what i see as i'm building it that's how i work oh let's have why does that look a bit stingier than that let's have a look There we go. Right, there's a pair of flip-flops that'll do me. I need to cut them a little bit, don't I? Oh, you're not going to see them when they're done. Right, I've got a pair. That's all I need. So, flip-flops. I'm just doing one. If I need more, I can do them. So we've got those. Beach ball. Just hold on. There's my beach ball. See if you size of the foot and then the beach ball, great. And all I have to do with that is just polystyrene, is paint it. Bird box, well we can easily do a bird box, that's not a problem. 
So let's just show you. Um, I have two pieces. Those those bits I cut. We can get them near enough straight. Yeah, like that. Cut another two. Uh, the shack's going to be about that. So I, oh, sorry, the bird box. So I need two of those. Shall I do that? So what we do then, I'm going to have to get this out somehow. I took my nail off yesterday, it went right down further than it should have done and it bloody hurt. <laughs> it hurt like hell. I know my desk's the best but can't help it. Anyway. What I'm going to do is my deck, pop that on, push it there, I'm going to do the same there, like that. And then we need this piece. So that's gonna was it that piece? Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's gonna go in there like that. So we need to put a hole in that. And somewhere I have a hole punch. Actually I'm gonna move that. We'll move that down to there. Carefully. Put that on. Like that. Okay, we don't matter about that, we can cover that up with a bit of look. Just to have a bit of decoration. Pop that across the bottom. Like that. Cut that off and that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sit this on that side in between that and that. Like that, see? <coughs> we need to put a little bit on the bottom. That'll do. And we're going to pin that out a little bit. So it's got like a little shelf there. It's got to lay flat to the wall, like that, see, part of the bird box already. And really, I mean, I should have shaped those, never thought about that at the time. But that's fine, because I can do that now. Let's just have a look. We need to cut a piece, don't we? Right, let's just see how I can... So, you need to know how to correct things. So, right now, I'm going to teach you. So what I'm going to do is to pop that on there, like that, leave that to set, it's nothing, don't worry about it. Pop that bit on there. You notice I don't measure anything, I can't, can I? How can I measure anything? I never know what I'm going to do. 
like that not quite straight then what you do is you do that see take a piece of this pop that on there so it's like a little box kit just make sure it looks nice inside in this section yeah and what we do is take that off take that off and glue that back on So you like that. Ignore the glue bits. Because like I said, we want it a little bit rustic. We don't need it perfect. So it's supposed to be a handmade box, isn't it? And then what we do is we use that to go on there. And I'm fine with that. like that and again just cut that off at the back that's going to be up against the wall you're not going to see and I'm just going to trim that down and a little rustic bird box on the shack and if I can do it carefully might be able to should be able to have I got one here yes bit of a skewer it'll go don't worry hopefully if it collapses we just make it again it's not a problem it's all trial and error but while you're doing all of that yeah you're getting what you want so let that dry Once it's vanished over and glued, it'll be fine. And then all you do is cut on this got a little perch. Simple as that. And that's my little bird box. Okay, so there's our little bird box. We can paint that and do whatever we like with it. Doesn't matter that that's joined there at all. You're not going to see that anyway. You just glue that to the wall. So that's that, that we've done the bird box. Now I like this because it's like a rubber matting that we can have out on the deck. So what I'm going to do is to cut a piece off because my decking won't be any more than that, I don't think like a little runner you know I'm gonna have like a I might have a like a little veranda um let's see so I'm gonna keep that now I need something to put all of my bits in so that I don't lose them what I need now let's have a look we still have to do that one, don't we? We'll see how that one turns out before I do that because I might revert to the others. So, I need a, a container of some sort. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, 
let's have a look. We can use this, can't we? So I'm going to put that in in case I need to use more of that. I've got that that I need to bead. Whoops. Oh, go back. We've got those. We've got the two stands. I've got those because I might need them. I've got flip-flops, which I've got to... Let's sort them out next. We've got all of the... Um, surfboards we've got the runner that we need the ball which I'll show you about that next let me just see if I can yeah let me just see I'll do that now so all I do is I'm just going to poke that on there pop a bit of glue in it and pop that on and then we paint that and then when that's on the floor, that's the bit that goes on the floor and you don't see. Right, all I'm doing with this, like I said, which was the ball, is using the Copic markers. I will gloss over it uh, to make it like a beach ball. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. We've just had a load of uh, like military planes going over again. Now, they've been doing this all week and all last week. Loads of military planes, them carriers and that. Um, the big ones. So, there's something going off, but we don't know what. So, I'd get prepared. Uh, not sure if I want to keep it like that or do it red and blue. I might do blue actually. Let me just see. <laughs> I can't make my mind up what I want to do. I wish they'd stop doing whatever they're doing. Because it is scaring my dogs. Thing is, when you ring up, they deny everything. And you said, well, we're not deaf, we can hear it, and the dogs are frightened to death. Right, I'm not sure I've done this right, but I can change it, because I can paint it white and start again. Let's see. Yeah, I might just do that. Can't concentrate with what's going off with the dogs and that. They need support. Right, so, but that's the ball. Um, we can sort that out. If I've got a different pen somewhere, I know I can sort it out. Here, I wonder if the black by roll will work. Let's try that. So, sit still, love. Yeah, that'll do. And um, I don't know if this is ready yet. I'm actually going to try and change my mind about this and do something else with it. Uh, do a paper one that can be put up or put down, to be honest. I just have to remember how to make them. <laughs> I got the card here ready for it, but I think that's too stiff. Um, let me just see if I can remember how to do it. So I don't want it any more than three inches where's my pen gone no more than three inches and that might be too big for what I need two and a half we'll do two and a half inches two and a half I've got to do two and a half Right, that's that. So, this might not work. I can't remember. <laughs> you know when you haven't done something for a long time? Right, let me just see. And I need to clear my desk, to be honest. So, we need to do it. If I remember rightly, you do it that way first then you do it that way I 
If I can remember to do it, I'll do it with fabric. Then you do it that way. And then that way. And then it's done like that. That goes over there and then you fold. Let me just get my little skewer. I use that just to open it and flatten it. Like that. Turn that over. Yeah, turn that over. Then you do it that way. Wait a minute. That's it. <laughs> Nearly forgot then. Then you do that. So you've got that. And then we have to do the same again with the other two sides. Joey, Lucky, come here. Lucky. Sorry. It's a neighbour. So you do that and then you do it with this side. Like that. Now, now what? <laughs> you can't remember. I will remember. Right, that's it. See if I remember this, and then you can hang on. Like that. Yeah, I think it's like that. Take it from the middle. And cut it to the end, take it from the middle and cut it to the end in an arch, I think, if I remember rightly. There you go, and you've got your beach hut umbrella. And they have to come out as well, that side, that's it. So you've got those, bring those two out, and those two, hang on, <laughs> tricky, but you've got to push them out the opposite way, that's it, now that's, that sticks out. That should stick out, that's it. They should stick out. Like that. Like that. See? When you open it open, you've got your beach brolly type of thing. Like that. Because it doesn't have to be round, don't forget. Although I want to round mine off. I'm going to round mine off. Like that. That's it. And then that can then become Let's take this off. Now, I need to cut this down a bit. It's too big. That's it. And that needs to sit on there. That's it. Then I can colour them. Oh, I can paint them or colour them. I'm going to paint mine. Paint the top of it white. 
Hang on, because I don't want to knock it. Um, I need to put some glue right in the middle. And then stick that on there. Oh, I've got such a pain in my thumb. And then I'm going to paint it. So you can use your scrap card for this. And these are big enough for sure for the beach. I need to do two of these. I've got a pain in my thumb, I don't know how or why it just started. Right, I'm just going to leave that one coat for now. Let that dry on top. I can still shape that. I don't have to have it like that. And I'll do it when it's dried, I think. I'm just going to... That's it. Get that in the right place. That's it. I can sort it out afterwards. Right, that's it. And I'll be back for the next lot. I just didn't want to lose all my bits and pieces. So that's that. Oh, there's some more flip-flops there. The bird uh, thingy. What's my call it? So bird box, we've got one. I don't need to. I might put another one on the other side. I'm not sure. Rope. Now, rope, we just use string. There you go. Um, let me just see. So, we've got different string. We sell this in the shop as well. Now, when you want to do, um, like, string to hang on the wall, you just wrap it around your fingers like that. And then what you're going to have to do is you put it in, loop it through the bit you've put over, like that, pull, and tie them two bits together. See? Now, why do we need string? Well, I don't know we do need string, but... You can have some in a shack because you never know where you're going to need it. You might want to tie your boards up. Mightn't you? So that's one bit of string. Roughly done. You don't need it all. I'll cut all this down when I've... What's it? I'm going to do a couple of those. Um, and I, Oh, I've got this. This is going to be the... You know when I do the fencing around the shack? That's going to be the rope that goes and loops. So that's that. I can't take that off yet. Now, the other thing I was going to do was I could do one of the, you know, the canopies out of that, you know, the umbrellas. I'm not sure. So I've got that out anyway. That's spare. And we've got some more of this. I'm going to do another one of those. And I might just have scraps of it somewhere. I need to actually get the whole thing going before I um, decide what I'm doing. Now you don't want to have too much of this, otherwise it will uh, look false. So you put that through there. I mean, it's how I do it. Pop that loop through that. Pull it. 
tie the two together, pop it back through and tie them together again. Like that. So we've got those. There's a bit of spare if we need it. What else do we need? Now, so we've got rope, that's done. Boat paddles. Well, what did I use? Oh, excuse me. I used those uh, silly sticks, didn't I? I can't remember what they were. Or where they were. Where were they? You know, like a paddle that you stick in something. And life boys, that's what I wanted. You know, we need to make some life boys. And I use these. They don't have to be, um, we'll use some for children, I think. Like these can be for children. So we'll just have two of each. I might need others, but I can use them up if I want. I can make them up and they'll, I'll use them elsewhere. So, life boys. So we've got those. They just get painted. Paint them white with red stripes. And um, so that's those. Uh, the fishing net, we've got that. <coughs> uh, boat paddles, like I said. So, looks like I'm going to have to make me own. I can't remember what I have. Wooden uh, sticks. But I don't know what I've done with them, but I could use lollipop sticks if I can get my scissors to cut the shape. So, you go, you only need them like that. The small boats you need, that's it. So, let's just see. Like that. So I've cut a little niche, like that, and then take a strip off. So cut your niche first, that way it won't split the wood all the way up. And if you need them a little bit thinner, what I can do, I think, is to use this really carefully. So I'm going to do that first I've got control of this like that I think that'll make a paddle like that just going to make sure that I uh, cut this one up down a bit Oh, see, see how I made that mistake dead easy. Never mind, not to worry, as long as you've got more. There, let's have a look. We can shape them into a paddle, no problem. Here's a file. And these don't have to be perfect either. They're handmade. There's a little paddle. Ah, see, you've got to be careful. Like that. But when they're painted, they're going to be fine for boats. You know, you know it doesn't matter that um, they're not perfect they will look the part 
when they're done and that's what you need. So there's my paddles. Right folks, I am back. Now, I've just taken these off the internet. I, I mean, I could hand paint them, but I'm gonna try this first on the smaller ones. Let's just see. I mean, the, obviously the picture will go in the middle. I'm trying to find, that's a little bit thinner, isn't it? I'm just gonna try it, that's all. I'm gonna try, it's for a bloke, you see. So let's do this one. May work, may not. Because I will be varnishing them, so we'll just let's have a look at this. So we need it's not quite a clear picture either. So basically what I've got to do now is to glue this into place. I, you could paint it first, but I don't want to. I never do anything the right way around. I do it my own way. <laughs> I want this to dry, you see. See, like that. And I, go, I have a decent steady hand that I can um, use when I'm painting it. And I've got a decent flat brush to do it with. So, while that's drying, I'm going to have a go. So, I've got a little bit of paint on here. And then all I'm going to do for now is just to paint up to the edge.
Right, so I'm going to keep those bits because um, cause, 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 cause I, I am. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is now use some inks to fill these out a little bit. Just pop that to one side. That one's no good. So we need to keep those. That's no good. Right, let me see. Uh, I do have felt tip pens, Copic markers. Did I not put this back in place when I've been filming? I hope so, because this is when I get annoyed with myself. Right, um, this one is the red. <laughs> this is it. So I'm just going to sort the red one out. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to leave whatever's white. Just leave it white. This is just highlighting the print a little bit more because it was quite faint. I'll make it stand out a bit more now. I'm just going to darken it and then when we gloss it over it will look so much better. Can we do this as well? That's how we colour that in. Anything I need to go over the white I can. If I need to do. See? We'll just keep going over it and darkening it. And that just fills that bit in. Now we need a blue. You're never sure whether you're getting the right blue, but that doesn't matter. Because you can make use of it all. Right, sorry about that. Um, Julie's phoned and Julie's not well at the moment and I've been sat talking to her while carrying on with these, to be honest. And all I've done is I've used felts to fill the, you know, colours in. That's all I've done. Just, you know, I don't want to colour that one. I like that as is. I think they're all ready. And then basically all I have to do, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use glossy accents this which is what I stuck the pictures on with to give them give them all a sheen and they'll look glossy then see how the picture stands out more that's the reason why I use the felts to colour in and to highlight the pictures a little bit more. Now I'm not bothered about the edges at the moment because we can sort them out. Oops. So while that's glossy like that, I'm going to leave that to dry and just do them all the same.
Yeah, it's frightening them to death. I don't know what the hell's going off up there, but we're always hearing things constantly. You know, and it's the dogs are scared. Oops, and easy. There's military planes going all over the place. I mean, what the hell that's about? I've no idea. We've never seen so many military planes. And don't tell me there's nothing going off, because there is. You don't see that. It's crazy what they're doing. It's all right, Joey. It's all right, love. It's terrified. Stupid. It's all right, baby. He's shaking. So, you see, dogs can sense things. And he, my two dogs know there's something not right. See, I think they look fine. Have I done them all? That's that one. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back to finish them off.